So right now, there is this one statement that's floating across the internet, which seems like it makes a lot of sense, which is people who are anti-gurus, anti-courses, saying things that sounds like something like this. Bro, why would you need to spend a thousand bucks buying some sort of online course when YouTube and Google has all of that information for free? Just utilize those free resources and watch those videos. So here's the thing, while this sounds like an amazing point, the truth is if courses and information on a YouTube video can create change, then why do you think everybody isn't fit and healthy, walking around shredded with six-pack abs, happy in their relationships, rich, having it all in life and crushing it? What do you think is missing? Why aren't you, or rather, why isn't the rest of the world, everybody, you know, looking good naked in front of the mirror? What else do you think is missing? I don't know, it's, 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 it's just not important enough, you know, so, so I never did it. You're saying your, your health is, is not important enough, your, your fitness level is not important enough for you to do something about it? Well, I mean, again, it's, 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 it's not an apple to apple comparison, you know, I'm talking about um, make money online courses, I'm talking about um, I'm talking about any course in general, whether it's a personal development course, whether it's building up confidence, right? There's no course that anyone should be paying, you know, 100 bucks, 500 bucks, or 1,000, 10,000 dollars for that matter, which is absolutely nuts, right? Everything's on YouTube. So I'm gonna exit the conversation here for a second and I'm gonna talk to you, the person watching this video, because guess what? That conversation right there has a lot of valid points. And if you're somebody that's thinking about selling something online through some sort of course or workshop or seminar or coaching program, this video right here will be the most important one you watch because here's the thing, if you are selling information, guess what, the other guy's right. Why should someone pay for your stuff if YouTube and Google has those information for free? If you're selling just information, information number one, alone is not gonna create change, and number two, think about who your competitors are. You're competing with YouTube and Google, and that makes you a commodity. So what that means is if you wanna create a compelling offer for whatever market that you might be in, so whether you are in fitness, whether it's Forex, whether it's real estate, you gotta think about what are the other components that's part of your offer that makes a person accelerate and get faster results in less time? So if you follow me, we're gonna head over to the whiteboard over here to walk you through what some of these elements could be. Okay, so think about right now, the typical anti-course, anti-guru person. What is their main point? Is that why should a person pay $100, $500, $1,000, $10,000 when you can get all of that information for free. 100% truth. They shouldn't. Nobody should be paying you just for information. But the example, let's just utilize the weight loss example over here, right? Every single Zumba class, every single yoga movement, every single bench press, every single sit-up can be found on a YouTube video. So back to the original question then is, if all of the information is freely and readily available, then why isn't everybody in their ideal body weight or their body shape? Because let's face it, round is not a shape. It is because information alone is not enough. And when you understand this, this is how you can better position yourself and make better offers. So let's take a look at what are the other components that could be missing. And if you ask somebody, okay, look, so every single workout is available online. So what else do you think is missing? And listen to what the answers are. And if you were to just guess what those answers are, what do you think it could be? It'll be saying, well, um, maybe it's because it's just not important enough, okay? Because I don't have the time, I don't have the accountability, okay? I don't have the right environment, I don't have a right coach, I don't have, I don't find it fun. So that's why I don't even go to begin with. So if you think about all these different components, if you really think about it, that's why people hire a coach. Because 
the coach isn't just giving them information. It's not just about making sure they're doing the right form, but the coach perhaps keeps them accountable. It, it shows them, okay, we're tracking your weight, this is your weight this week, and this is what we aim to get your weight by the end of the month, okay? The coach creates this environment, perhaps, um, because they're tracking the numbers, how many reps, how many sets, and the person now is a little bit more motivated to show up for the next workout when they are able to see that they're getting stronger, faster, right? Perhaps it could be the case that you know, think about how can you make it more fun? Maybe there's variation in the workouts right now. Um, the coach is pushing and making the person do the extra reps. And what if this has nothing to do with fitness? It can be applied to fitness, but it can be applied to whatever market you might be in, whatever niche. So think about beyond information, what these components might be for you. Could you give them a blueprint, a 60-day action plan? Could it be a mind map? Could it be the scripts? Could it be the systems, the processes, the checklists, the downloadables? Could it be uh, coaching? Could it be the community? Is it because of customization? Now think about all these different things that I'm saying right now. For example, customization. YouTube can't give you a customized solution. They can't give you feedback on the spot so that it gives you the insight on what to do next. So the people that's hating on people selling courses, they're absolutely right. Why? Because if you are selling a course that's just based upon information, number one, it's not gonna do well. And number two, it doesn't really serve the audience anyway because they can get this information for free. If you wanna create a good compelling offer, start thinking about what these different components are for you that can't be found on a YouTube video. And that's how I'm thinking about all of my offers. Could it be access, access to your network? So for example, sometimes when a person invests in your offer, it could be because of a specific introduction. Maybe it's to your suppliers, maybe it's to your personal network, your Rolodex of vendors who are able to supply a certain item at a lower cost, whatever it might be, right? Could it be relationships? For example, I'm part of masterminds that is $25,000, $50,000 a year. And guess what? There's nothing new in terms of information. The stuff that is taught in the mastermind, in most cases, is found in any course out there. However, what does the mastermind have that can't be found on YouTube videos? That would be connection, that would be the networking, that would be just the community. And that is what makes that offer great. So, what I'd love to be able to hear from you, let me know in the comments. Out of all those different things that I mentioned, and there was a lot, there was you know, the action plans, the mind maps, the accountability, what are these different components that you could utilize in your offer right now that significantly increases the perceived value of your offer and at the same time takes you away from selling just information? If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, smash the like button. It does help the channel out a little bit and be sure to subscribe for videos just like this. As you can see, we're experimenting with different things, the green screen, we kind of remodeled everything. And let me know if you enjoyed this type of video where I'm playing like two characters, never really done that before. And as always, make sure you uh, let me know in the comments your biggest takeaway. We'll see you in the next video.